Welcome to Cinerama TV, I'm Miss Kelly. Today, Papa Tom is going to be making Adobe dwellings, and he'll be using the Cinerama Sculpting Kit. Some additional things you'll need are some scissors, a rolling pin, and some sticks from the backyard. Now let's get over to Papa Tom and see how to make Adobe dwellings. We're studying today on the Cliff Dwelling Indians, and I've got just the stuff to make it really look nice using the sculpting kit. We're going to use the model magic clay and just work it up a little bit, get some of the stickiness out of it, and just flatten it out so that you can cut your pieces from it, your walls and your roof. And you got yourself a nice flat piece to work with so when you assemble your building later on, things are nicely put together at the corners. Now on your roof, if you study it and see some pictures that are on the internet or in your books, you'll notice they have ladders going through the roof. So we'll make a nice little hole here in the top of this one so that we can get our ladder through later on. We want to cut in a doorway and some windows. So what I'll do is make an incision here and here for a door. Lift that out and another one for a window and now I don't want to throw these away because obviously we're going to have to have a door flatten it out and usually those are made by boards so we'll put a line down the center another line down the center and that'll look like boards maybe give it a little indentation at the bottom so they look like they're separated that creates a nice door. Let's do the same thing with the window. We'll flatten it out and we'll make it like shutters and then scribe it a little bit. Now what we want to do is scribe the front of the building so that it looks like the adobe where it's all stacked on top of each other. And if you've ever looked at adobe houses on the top when they go to do the roof they've got big beams going across to support the roof so we're going to put in a little indentation where we want those beams to be later on. Now the last thing we have to do is over the threshold and over each window we have to supply support for that so what you do is find yourself some twigs you want to get them just slightly longer than what the window in the doorway is and embed it right above it and create your uh, support for your window. And as you can see, it now has the support over the sill, the windows and the, uh, the doors. And where we have the divots up here at the top, that's where you'll get some more sticks, cutting them off and cementing them in place to support your roof. And we'll do that as soon as this dries. Now that the walls have dried real nice, we went ahead and cemented in the window into the back with a little bit of the project glue, put it all over the back, push your piece into it so now it looks like you have your wooden window in now too. So we're going to go and put in the supports for the roof itself. Again, take a little bit of the sticks that you have from your backyard and cut yourself some sticks that are maybe about half an inch or so long. and. Taking a little bit of the project glue that you get in your sculpting kit and your brush, put a little bit in the divots and just press the sticks into them. And there you'll have the nice look of the adobe hut, especially when you get the roof on it, it'll really look nice. And we can move on with the other building or er, walls as well. Now that our walls have dried, we're ready to do the actual assembly. And as you can see, our rafter pieces that we put in are all dried and everything's ready to go. What we're going to do is take a little bit of the project glue and add that to your wall edge. And just push these two pieces together where the cement is. And then we're ready to go on with the next piece. Did you know while Rome was falling in Europe, the ancestral Pueblones were building their first homes on mesa tops in what is now Mesa Verde, Colorado. 
starting to really look good, isn't it? Now you're ready to go with the roofs as well. Just take a little bit more of the project glue and put it in position. Okay, now we'll go on to the next one over here. And wipe a little bit along this edge because that's where it's going to join with the other roof line here. Now that you've got them into position, all you got to do is let it dry for a while. Okay, now as you can see, it's dried. I did add a few little pieces on the back to support the roof. And remember, we did cut some holes in here so that people could climb out and get up on their roof. Now, in order to do that, of course, you would need a ladder. So, taking some of your sticks like you did earlier, just cement a few pieces together crudely like this so that it forms a ladder and you can put your ladder in to your roof so that the people can get out. What about if you did multiple la layers on it? I just happened to have another section that I did and that could go up on top. And of course, you gotta get out of that roof so you make a little, little bit longer ladder. And now they have a way to get out of that one. So there's no end of what you can do here. So let's cement that piece in place. We'll let that dry and then we can come back and paint the whole thing so that it looks more realistic. Okay, now that it's dry, we're ready to paint. We've got our paints that came in the sculpting kit and I'm going to take the light tan and paint that all over all the earth, earth portions. Now I took the paint ahead of time and dilute it down to where it's about a 50% mixture. So it's more like a stain rather than a paint. That way it'll get into all the little cracks and crevices, giving it more depth coming through it. The next thing we want to do is rinse our brush out and go and do the doors and the uh, shutters that are on it. Did you know that Cliff Palace Ruins at the Mesa Verde National Park contain more than 150 rooms and over 23 ceremonial chambers known as kivas? There. Now doesn't that create a nice effect? All of it, the darker portions going into the graining and separating the boards so that you can really see them. I mean, it just brings out all the texture and really makes it look like good wood. Now that our dwelling is dry, I just so happen to have a diorama here that this would probably fit into pretty good. So let's take a look. And we'll slide it into place a little bit here. Well, let's not forget our ladders. Learn how to build this diorama by watching Papa Tom's Cliff Dwelling Diorama video. And then of course the only thing else you have to do is put your name on it and go get that A.